Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. The Trump administration, fresh off its battle against breastfeeding at the United Nations, is once again pressuring countries to revise a UN public health resolution, this time focused on tuberculosis. The US is seeking to remove language asserting the legal right for developing countries to override drug industry patents and license low-cost versions of otherwise expensive TB medicines, arguing over the wording of a draft declaration for a high-level meeting on tuberculosis scheduled to take place in September. But in this effort, the administration has an unlikely ally, a former Obama administration senior advisor who has criticized Trump. Josh Black was the White House Director for UN and Multilateral Affairs under Barack Obama in 2016. A career diplomat and sanctions negotiator, he served in the State Department under three presidents, but quit this January amid growing disillusionment with the Trump administration. Black now works as the point person at the UN for the Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturers of America, or PHRMA, the nation's main drug industry lobbyist. And the U.S. meddling on the tuberculosis declaration aligns with from a stated desire to protect corporate patents. It's not exactly surprising to see continuity among Democratic and Republican presidents on drug patents. The Obama administration repeatedly fought non-governmental organizations over access to affordable drugs in the developing world, advocating for higher prices and pressuring poorer countries to stop creating generics. This isn't something unique to the Trump administration, said Leonardo Palumbo, an advocacy manager with Medicine Sense Fronteras, which first raised concerns about the TV resolution. The famously loyal Trump operating hand-in-hand -hand with someone who worked for his heated rival Obama and condemned his leadership is an anomaly. In the rarefied world of global pharmaceutical profits, however, it's just PAR for the course. The Trump administration courted controversy last month when the New York Times reported that it opposed a resolution supporting breastfeeding at the World Health Assembly. The U.S. reportedly threatened countries with trade sanctions and withdrawal of military aid if they introduced the resolution, and later sought to soften the resolution's text. The aggressive action aligned with the interests of the $70 billion infant formula industry, which has thrived on providing misinformation about breastfeeding to the developing world.